guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing something really exciting I am going to be sharing with you my unboxing from the book outlet so I made an order about 10 days ago from the book outlet I have never ordered from there before but I had this long list of books that I have been looking for trying to find them at thrift bookstores or find them as cheap as possible a little Google search led me to the book outlet now they did not have every book that I was looking for but they did have several of them that I was looking for and even though I've never purchased from there before I thought it was worthwhile to give them a try since all of the books were significantly cheaper than I could find anywhere else plus I wasn't running all over town trying to find them at different thrift stores now one thing about the book outlet is if you order $35 worth of goods you can get free shipping so I actually was able to total up with all the books that I got to $35 and 13 cents to be able to get free shipping so with tax it was just $37 and some change but I did get 12 books several that I have been looking for or wanted to add for things to read throughout the year and several of them were just ones that I have been wanting to add to our library but maybe don't have a place in our curriculum this year so what I wanted to do was just share with you our unboxing so I can give you an honest opinion of the quality of the books that they receive, especially if you've never ordered from Book Outlet like me. I just, I wasn't sure what the quality would be like when I received them, but I wanted to give you an honest review of what you receive. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and unbox or unopen my box. So here is the size of the box and let's see. I don't know if it's like this for anyone else when you get boxes delivered, but it feels like Christmas morning sometimes. All right. So let's see here. Wow, these look like they're in really good condition, actually. They don't even look, several of them don't look like they've been used or even opened at all. All right, so let's go over some of what I got. All right, so this is one I have been wanting, Our Great Big Backyard. It's by Laura Bush and her daughter, Jenna Bush Hager. And um, it's about traveling and going to um, a lot of the different national parks. So again, this one wasn't anything that um, we're necessarily covering in our studies of curriculum or anything like that this year. It was just one that I've seen. And because we like to travel, I just thought this would be a good companion to talk about the different national parks. And looking at the illustrations, it does look like it will be fun. So here's one about like Everglades National Park, um, Big Bend National Park. Let's see what else? Grand Canyon. So it looks like it'll be a fun one to read for while, while traveling. All right, let's see what this one. Ox Cart Man. So we have read this one before and this was just another one that I just wanted to add to our collection. This one is a hardback and honestly it looks like it's in like perfect condition. Doesn't look like that it's ever been opened before but we've read this one before from the library and I really enjoyed this one so it was just one that I wanted to add to our library. Next one we have is Fireboat, and it's the Heroic Adventures of a John J. Harvey. Um, so this is um, um, kind of talking about 9-11. So um, we have read this one before as well, and just another one to add to um, our oh, pages stuck together here at the top. We might have to kind of cut that apart. Overall, I mean, other than that page that's stuck together, still in pretty good condition. So this is another one, Sharing the Bread. Another, this one's a hardback, a hardback book here. Another one that we've read just talking about um, Thanksgiving. It's just an old fashioned old-fashioned Thanksgiving story but we enjoy this one and reading it we've checked it out at the library before so it's a good one to read at Thanksgiving time and then we have this one as well the Thanksgiving story this one is actually part of um 
a recommendation for a book list for our curriculum to read during Thanksgiving and around um, the pilgrims. So we'll be adding this one. Same with this one. We'll be reading this one. This is Can't You Make Them Behave, King George. So Jean Fritz book that we'll be reading for our history. Now here we have um, a read aloud, Turn Homeward, Hannah Lee. So this was on the Sunlight book list for American history. So we'll be reading, the, this will be one of our read alouds this year. Same with this one, In the Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson. So we'll be reading this one. Again, these books look like they're in perfect condition. And I want to say the majority of these books were like two to three dollars a piece, but they they really look like they're brand new. So that's puzzling, but I'll take it. So I don't know. You guys can take my recommendation, but I think it's in being good quality. Here we have Sam the Minuteman. This one's a hardback as well. King of the Mound. I'm looking forward to this one. My sons really like baseball, so I'll be reading this one aloud. If you look up the story behind it, it seems it seems really interesting. Phoebe the Spy. Again, this one's tying in for our history. And by the Great Horn Spoon, another read aloud for us. So there are the 12 books. I mean, a really nice stack of books. This all was just $37 after tax. So um, I'm actually really, really impressed with the quality. I mean, if you can look at the the pages and the corners, I mean, they really don't look like these books have been touched at all. Um, just a few minor things here and there. I am honestly very well impressed with the order and with Book Outlet and honestly makes me want to jump on there and see what other books that I can find at such a discount price. All right, so there you have it. There's my first impression of my order from the book outlet. I can honestly tell you that I will be looking um, online on the book outlet for additional purchases that I might need in the future. And if you guys like what you see, I think I would try it out as well. Um, see what you can find online. See if you can find any good deals for yourself. If you guys have any questions or anything, please leave a comment below. Um, I would love to answer any questions you have. If you've read any of these books or if you've had a good experience with Book Outlet, let me know. All right, guys, until next time, have a blessed day.